Australia is very focused on what we can do to promote the advantages that come from structural reform, particularly in relation to the services trade. Uh, the fact is that it's through structural reform that we're able to really drive productivity. And by driving productivity, we're able to promote increased job growth, we're able to promote increased economic growth, and that's really important across the region. Australia has been a big beneficiary of structural reform. We've had 24 years of continuous economic growth. Uh, we want nations uh, throughout uh, the APEC region to enjoy those benefits, and we really think that uh, the key to it is structural reform in the services sector to remove uh, barriers to trade that exist beyond the borders uh, and that's really been at the centre of our focus. Australia has been a big beneficiary of structural reform over the past couple of decades. We've enjoyed 24 years of continuous economic growth uh, and some of that has been through some pretty difficult economic times in a global context. Uh, we've had to recognise of course that structural reform isn't always straightforward. Uh, sequencing is important. It's important of course to bring the people with you to have an open dialogue with the people of any nation and in Australia's context of course with the Australian people about what the advantages are from structural reform in terms of creating economic growth, in terms of creating more employment opportunities. Uh, these have really been the major selling points that we've been able to highlight to talk about the success that we've achieved and of course we'd love to see that replicated throughout the APEC region.